refueled. The gas station manager fired for accidentally selling 69 cent gas and costing his company thousands of dollars in the process is now receiving attention from people across the country. And through hundreds of donations, he's raised that lost revenue back. CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Rancho Cordova with a follow up to the story you first saw right here on CBS 13. Well, everybody remembers on Monday, we told everybody about this gas station employee who accidentally put the decimal spot in the wrong place, was selling this gas for just 69 cents a gallon. The station says it cost them $20,000. They fired him. Again, that was Monday. Four days later, the family set up this GoFundMe account seeking to raise back that $20,000, give it to the gas station. Look at where the number stands right now. At this hour, $19,125. Wow, I'm going to do math right now. $875 away from reaching their goal, okay? That's incredible. And all this money is going to go right back to this gas station. So, wow, I'm overwhelmed. I'm like, wow. John Cezina is in shock over the amount of money people are sending him after his gas Just station gaff. I think it's because they call me a Robin Hood, you know, but I'm really the, you know, the, the Friar Tuck, you know, because I got the Friar Tuck haircut. You know? <laughs> His sense of humor still strong after he accidentally set the pumps wrong, selling 69 cent gas that was quickly guzzled down by customers. We ain't playing today. After the mistake cost him his job, his family set up a GoFundMe to help Cezina pay back the lost money to the station. In the middle of this nationwide surge in gas prices, reports of Cezina's firing aired everywhere, and hundreds who watched sent money from as far away as Georgia, Connecticut, and Florida. The message is all with a similar theme. Not fair, honest mistake. An honest mistake, sending love and prayers. And honest mistake, hope he hits his goal and gets his job back. You know, I didn't think it would take off like a rocket like that. He really had a good attitude about the whole thing. Daryl Sarita donated $160 to the GoFundMe account. Sarita was one of the customers who bought the 69 cent gas and then found out Cezina was fired. When I found out it wasn't a glitch and it was somebody that had to take responsibility, I just kind of felt bad for him. All these people are saying good things to me. A sense of solidarity with this fired gas station manager after feeling the emptiness of unemployment. Thank you very much for, you know, helping me out, you know. He's now filled up with support. I got to tell you, just in the minute and a half that that story was airing, another $20 raised. So $19,145, uh, 875 donors. And I'm looking at the donations. We're talking about $5, $10, $7. Uh, pretty incredible uh, how much people really empathize with John in this story. Well, Steve, a couple questions here. One, will the gas station give him his job back if he gives that money? Two, does he even want his job back at this point? And three, is anybody else rushing to offer him a job? Well, you know, actually, he has a, uh, an interview tomorrow he told me about. He's going to wear his nice shirt. Uh, I won't say the company that's uh, interviewing him, but uh, he does have that lined up. He has been trying to reach out to the owners here to see how can he present this check to them, and they haven't responded to his messages yet. Hmm. I reached out to them. No response uh, to me either. Uh, he's open to hearing if they want to give him his job back. At this, at this point, he's looking for any offers he can get.